Well, the president has been ripping Michael Bloomberg over his past defense of that stop and frisk policy. Blake Berman has the very latest. Blake. Hi there, Neil. First in the nation uh, primary day, as you just saw from Ellison there, but the Trump campaign today is not focusing on any of the candidates there in New Hampshire. Instead, they are focusing on one of the candidates who's not even on the ballot there at all, that, of course, being Michael Bloomberg. And the focus really is on comments that were put out today, uh, comments that Michael Bloomberg made at, to the Aspen Institute in 2015, in which he staunchly defended the stop-and-frisk policing tactics that he backed during his time as New York City mayor. Now, here's the sequence of events from earlier today. President Trump, after that audio leak, took to Twitter and wrote that Bloomberg is a, quote, total racist but then the president deleted that tweet. But the president's campaign manager, Brad Parscale, doubled down using the hashtag Bloomberg is a racist. Now, Bloomberg has released a statement today saying he's apologized for not bringing down the number of stop and frisk stops sooner. But he also slams the president for deleting that initial tweet. Bloomberg writing, quote, the president's attack on me clearly reflects his fear over the growing strength of my campaign. Make no mistake, Mr. President, I am not afraid of you and I will not let you bully me or anyone else in America. Neil, we should note, by the way, that President Trump has been a vocal supporter in the past of stop and frisk, though he has also said of it, quote, that it needs to be applied properly. Neil? But he was a very big supporter of it. So if you're going to point fingers at Michael Bloomberg, um, I don't know. You, you, yeah. you, you can't risk feels being in a glass house, right? Yeah, the president feels that it's worked in New York. Uh, he made those comments uh, as recently as the end of 2018. This was asked to him, by the way, on the debate stage back in 2016, right, in right. which he defended stop and frisk policies. So you're right. Does the he still support those way... policies, though? I mean, it's one thing if he's no you know, inclination that he's, himself, right? Yeah, no, no inclination that he's changed. Uh, but the campaign is holding up this issue, saying, in their words, that Michael Bloomberg is a racist. The president fundamentally uh, supports the same policy, though I suspect if you were to ask the White House about this, they would point to where the president says that it needs to be, quote, applied properly. But it's certainly a question uh, that needs to be posed to the, to the president and or to this administration, uh, considering his past support for it as well. Neil? All right. Great reporting. Uh, Blake, thank you very much. Blake Berman at the White House.